Hello there. There's been a lot of ongoing debate comparing sticks with nunchaku, its origin and how effective or ineffective they are to use. So today I'd like to address this question and dig deeper and share with you my insights on the nunchaku. So let's start from the beginning, like the very beginning, 75,000 years ago. So let's start here in Northern Africa and Western Asia. This is where I believe that there is a crop that is secretly linked to the nunchaku. What is it you ask? Wheat. Yes, wheat. So during this time, Earth was recovering from a major volcano eruption. Uh, this was located near Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia. Now, scientists said that it almost ended mankind. Because of the eruption, many species and animals were dying which made it much harder now for our ancestors to hunt for food. Our ancestors had to find a way to survive, so they began harvesting Aeon corn and emmer as another food source. As time went by, the harvesting process got better and better, so they relied more on harvesting than just going out and hunting. That's where farming tools started to emerge. Lots of tools. Now let's fast forward about 12,000 years ago to the Middle East, specifically Egypt, where emmer wheat has become known as Egyptian wheat, which later it was referred by the Romans as Khorasan wheat, Pharaoh's wheat, or Pharaoh's grain. It was the preferred crop to grow because of the climate, and you could also store it safely from pests because the hull is protected. It's been said that the bread made from these grains have a light, sweet, nutty taste to them. Egyptian wheat needed to be hulled, so you need some sort of physical process in order to separate the grains from the hull. Something like a flail, or even this. Here are more tools. Now they should start looking familiar. Here are more farming tools. Isn't it a coincidence that they're starting to look a lot like traditional martial art weapons? And here are more farming tools that eventually evolved into weapons. Oh, look at here, a flail that may start to resemble a little bit like nunchaku. And look at here, a nice little war axe. So wherever wheat was grown, the tools and weapons also went with it. So if people claim that their weapons came from that region or this country or that country, I have to disagree. It comes from wheat. Now that you know where most traditional martial art weapons comes from, it's time to talk about the stick and the flail which is a version of the Numchaku. Follow and like for part two. Thank you.